name's Eric Froetz. I'm 32 years old, and I live in Southern California in Orange County. You know, it's, it's only been a short amount of time, but I feel there's, there's a sense of excitement, you know, maybe even joy, um, more drive and passion. Uh, I feel like before thinking to results, it, things just didn't seem in focus. It's not like I had a bad life, you know, I've, I've always felt that I've had a very, um, very good life in general. Uh, you know, I had a very decent upbringing. I wouldn't say it was amazing, but I wouldn't say it was horrible either. It was very average. I, I think that's the word to describe it. It was very average life in general. I felt like I wasn't achieving what I could. Um, I just didn't know how, you know, I didn't, didn't know how to, to kind of get to that next level, to get to that next, next step and really, really find my passion, find my drive. You know, I'm really looking and, and setting goals that I never even thought about before. It's not that I didn't think I couldn't achieve them, it's that I didn't even really imagine them. Um, you know, everything that I've set previously have been goals that, okay, it's really the B-type goals that we talk about, right? It's, it's the goals that, all right, if this goes in place and this goes into place and this goes into place, I'll hit it. And I have hit some of my B-type goals. Um, but it, it, any other dreams past that point were just fleeting dreams. Oh, this would be interesting, nah, you know, and just forget about it because that's not me. You know, I'm, I'm an average person. I'm living this mediocre life. I can achieve these B types of goals if I set them um, and really work at it. And maybe I can own my own house. Maybe I can, you know, have a couple kids. Maybe I can you know, have a, a nice Audi A4, you know, just a, a nice car. Um, but now it's, you know, it's really opened my, my eyes that there is something inside of me. There is a drive and a passion inside of me that why am I limiting myself? Why would I want to limit, limit myself if there's so much more potential out there? It's more about imagination than anything. I feel like, you know, as a kid, you do have that imagination. You, you're, you're flying a plane. There's a commercial on TV right now that little girl's in a spaceship and it's taking off and going up the stairs and she sees grandma and she kind of tails to the side and uh, tries to avoid hitting grandma in her little spaceship and then it kind of goes back to real life and she's just in this cardboard box. And the, the mom says, why didn't we just buy the, the cardboard box for the kid? Because kids that have such amazing imagination and you know, then you grow up and you some, somewhere along the way you just lose it. You lose that imagination and the belief that anything's possible. And the people that keep that belief, they're the ones that succeed. They're the famous you know, baseball players, the, the football players, the astronauts, because they didn't lose that dream along the way. And it, you know, I realize, you know, I, I actually took a couple flight classes to become a pilot, just to kind of see what that was like. And, and you're like, ah, no, that's not for, quite for me. But that was when I was younger too, and it kind of faded away to the point of, all right, let me get serious. I'm an adult now. I need to find out, okay, what's gonna be my career? What's gonna be my path? And let me just do the average mediocre thing. Whereas now I said, no, you know, there's, that's just way too limiting. There's these other people that have kept their dream, or they created a new dream, a new passion that they say, okay, this is, seems impossible to achieve, but they're gonna try for it anyway. And honestly, if you don't try, you're not going to, you're not gonna reach it. What are you waiting for? I mean, what do you want out of life? You know, do you want the life that you're currently living? Are you enjoying it? Is this really what you imagined your life to be when you were growing up? When you were a little kid and you saw your future, did you see yourself in the job that you're in? Did you see yourself living in the life that you're in? Maybe in the, the home that you're in, maybe in a little apartment. Did you see yourself there? No, don't think of yourself as where you are now because people settle. They say, oh yeah, I'm fine. I'm good, everything's going smooth. 
was, and I was the same way, you know. I, I thought everything was fine. I was slowly making my way. But when I look back and I think, and I, I, I think back to when I was talking to my mom when I was a little kid. I said, Mom, don't worry about it. I want to become a famous baseball player and I want to make millions of dollars and I'm going to buy you the home of your dreams, right? Where did that kid go, right? Why, why am I settling? Why are you settling, right? Why are you limiting yourself? Because that's just what people do? Why do you have to do what people do? You know, I feel like I'm just at the beginning. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm just starting to realize that there is a bigger and better future. And I feel like, you know, I've learned 1% of what I can achieve. And that makes me excited. Yeah, I'm just excited for that because I'm just scratching the surface. I feel like a rubber band, right? You're slowly pulling back that rubber band, slowly pulling it back, and then thinking to me, results comes, and I'm pulling that back faster and just about to let, let go and really thrive, you know? I feel like I'm right, just about to break through. Um, you know, I, I, I have seen a difference inside of me. I know if I just keep on digging and digging and, and or building, however you want to see it, and growing and, and, and developing, I can achieve so much more.